Hey guys, it's Lori here at the Land of Color and I got a question in my inbox this morning about how the color DNA table works. And I figured if one person has this question, other people probably did too. So she was wanting to use the table to search a range of chroma. So this is what uh, it looked like. It was 0 0.5 uh, and to like 1.0 is how she wanted to search the table. The table isn't an Excel spreadsheet. I'm not exactly sure how an Excel spreadsheet works in terms of searching ranges, but I imagine it's something like this, and that's not how the table works. And actually, I think how the table works is a little bit better than that, because if you put the colors in order by chroma, you can see the range that you're looking for uh, in one view, but you can also see the colors a little bit beyond or um, below that range as well. And let me show you how you do that really quickly. So we're going to use all of the colors in the database. Uh, I think we're coming up on like 2,600 colors that we have in here now. And all you have to do is come up here to the header and you have these little arrow handlebars. And if you click the up one, it's gonna put all of the colors in the database in order by chroma from smallest amount of chroma all the way up to the most amount of chroma. And if we scroll down, you can see how the numbers are getting bigger. When you get to the bottom of the table, this is another really handy feature of the table. If you click on this box, you can choose how many colors display in one view. I usually choose 100, so I can take a look at 100 colors at a time. Uh, scrolling through 100 colors at a time is like super fast and efficient. And we can drill down on this process um, in several more steps and get more specific and let the table filter in uh, exact colors that we're looking for. So for example, if you have that specific of a chroma range, you know, 0.5 to 1.0, you probably have um, a specific brand in mind as well. So all we have to do is come here to the drop down menu and just uh, click the checkbox for Benjamin Moore, for example. I'm gonna click out of there. And now it's filtered only the Benjamin Moore colors into the table, and they're all in order by chroma, least to most. Um, we can add another attribute. Let's say we only want Benjamin Moore colors that belong to the green yellow hue family. And now the table filters in Benjamin Moore colors from the green yellow hue family in order by chroma, 0.8. And you know you can see how the numbers keep getting bigger. And you can just scroll through the colors. And when you get to the bottom of the page, you can scroll to another page to see the rest of them. Okay, I'm gonna go back to page one. And let's do a couple other things to drill down on this data. Let's add another brand. Let's say we also wanna add Sherwin-Williams. So I come in here and click Sherwin-Williams. And it tells us up here, we're looking at Benjamin Moore, Sherwin-Williams colors, green, yellow, hue family. We can also add another hue family. Let's say we went green and green, yellow, and it just filters it in that quickly and all of the colors are in order by chroma. Um, let's do one more. Let's say we only wanna see colors with a value of at least eight. So I'm going to enter eight, and then the decimal point is really important. So you wanna put eight dot, and it's going to show you all of the colors from Sherwin-Williams and Benjamin Moore that belong to the green and green yellow hue family with a value of at least eight, right? So it's going to go from eight up to 8.99. And all of those colors are in order by chroma because we clicked that little handlebar in the chroma column as one of the first things we did. So if we're going back to the range that she specified, um, here are all of the colors from 0.5 up to, let's see if we scroll down here, here's 1.04. So that's the range she was talking about. And you can see what I mean when I said that you can, uh, if you're doing it this way, you can see beyond a little bit that range. Um, like if you only entered 1.0 in the search, if that's the way it worked, you would probably miss this color with a crumb of 1.04. And that might be you know close enough for what you're looking for. Same uh, at the top of the range. If you were looking for, you know, 0 0.5 and up, you might have missed this color with a chroma value of 0 0.49, which might be close enough. So you're able to see a bigger picture with the way um, the table sorts and orders the colors. And let's do one more thing because we can. 
since we're here, I'm going to take out the value of eight and let's add a third brand. Let's say um, Pharaoh and Ball. And so now it tells us that we have three brands selected. And let's say we want to look for all of the colors that have an LRV of, um, let's say we have some kind of LRV specification that we have to meet. Let's say it's 50. And so we enter a five and a zero. Well, let's go back to just entering the five. So if we only enter the five, it's going to show us um, the LRV if it has a number five in it anywhere. And that's not exactly what you're looking for. Although you could probably put it in order and sort through it if you wanted to. But um, back to our specification of 50 uh, dot something. So again, this decimal point is really important. So it's going to show you all of the colors with an LRV of 50 from Benjamin Moore and Pharaoh and Ball in the green and green yellow key family. Um, let's do 55 and see what we get and put in that decimal point. And there's only one. And again, 55.9. We can do another one. Let's say um, we want to look for colors of white, which are going to have a high LRV of at least 90 and put in that decimal point. And so here are all of the colors of white from Benjamin Moore Sherwin Williams and Pharaoh and Ball, they happen to only be from Benjamin Moore with an LRV of at least 90 point something. So that's how the search features work in the table. If you want to clear the table and get back to where you were, you just click this X and it clears all of it out and um, puts it back in order by chroma. Uh, you know, it didn't, you know, it filtered back in all of the colors. Uh, from the entire database. So I thought that was a really great, great question and I wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys have any more, just let me know and I'll talk to you later.